Cambodia. So it's just about 6.25 here in Phnom Penh on a Sunday morning. So things are rather quiet. Um, if it was a school day, Monday through Friday, kids would already be going off to school, but it's nice and quiet this morning. So I thought I'd show you around here, um, show you inside the house while it's quiet and there's no traffic in the house. Um, but yeah, um, so I think I have some things to do today, uh, gowns to be fitted to make sure that they fit correctly for a special occasion that's coming up. And if I do, I will bring you along. Uh, so I will bring you along on my day today and you will see um, what it's like. But right now I'll bring you on a tour of the house. So talk to you soon. So we're still out on my balcony and you can see here's the handle. Now, um, when I first arrived here in Cambodia, the first night we didn't have any locks. I mean, it a lock and you can see that it wouldn't really stop anyone if um, they wanted to break in. Don't mind the mess. So, yeah. So here's the lock, and that wouldn't stop squat. So my first night, I had a pan in front of the door, and that's purposely there to put a... So here's my padlock, and I don't think much, you know, they're not gonna get through that. So I sleep pretty good at night. So I just put it like that, keep it like that, because I don't want to be fumbling with the keys if I had to get outside. So my desk, my work area, um, nothing fancy, just a metal table, very cheap, $15. My beautiful work of art by him, Hemelay. He lives at the pagoda just down the street from me, and I love this painting. I saw it the day before I bought it and I was just like so moved. So I was really happy with this acquisition. And found this little store in the Russian market that sells lamps. And bathrooms in Cambodia. Everything is the shower. So you have to get used to that, but that's okay. And I still have to get a water heater, so my water's kind of like cold to lukewarm. And we were looking at water heaters yesterday, um, but I just didn't feel like paying the price because she didn't want to dick her. So, um, yeah, I might, I'll just probably spend the same amount and buy it somewhere else. So now we're going to go out the hallway. One of my sons, we're going to go upstairs. This house is a um, long house, Tao Luang. Um, five stories and a roof part. We just had this floor redone, that's why it's dusty. Another son's bedroom and his bathroom, so his bathroom was not in a suite. Um, there's a balcony out there. But we had to have this whole floor redone because um, when they built this house, they didn't give any room for the tile. So it went right up to the door. So I made sure that they understood that they couldn't do that again. It's supposed to be the upstairs living room. And um, they just finished literally yesterday, finishing off the tile. So we still have to redust again. But we don't use this room a whole lot, so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with it. So now we're going to go up to the, the rooftop. It reminds me of a, a castle staircase. That's what I like to think of it as. So, but all marble or granite steps. So yeah, you can see the dust and literally they just finished. So we had to re-clean everything in the whole house except for our bedrooms, which we kept sealed off. Okay, so this is the one, two, three, four. This is the fifth floor, and that's a back balcony. And that's a kind of a, we don't know what kind of room, but it does have power. Here's the bathroom. I turned off the water because I didn't want to pay for water that was constantly running. Here.
brought extra furniture down here, but this is where we parked the car. That's where I was hanging clothes the other day and a rat went across my foot. But every morning when I get up, generally um, there are dishes. I can't stand dishes in a sink, but this is a Cambodian kitchen. Our new refrigerator that we bought yesterday, um, this was the old refrigerator. Oh crap, water. Thank God I didn't slip. So I'm gonna turn this off and that's not garbage. I save newspapers so that I can um, wash windows because if you didn't notice, the front door is all glass and that bugs me when it's dirty. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't slip. But yeah, our Cambodian kitchen, stove that I bought, propane tank, rice bucket. So I'll show you what the kitchen looks like after it's cleaned. Okay, for those of you who have problems ringing up things, this is the most ingenious mop. You just go do this, it's all run out. When you wanna get it wet, you fit it over there, or if you wanna rinse it out. Mop thing. And this just rings it out. Salad spinners. So I think this is excellent. Because I don't know about you, but when you write all the time, when you're typing, you don't need to be ringing things. So I'm back. I've cleaned up the kitchen, mopped up the excess water because that old refrigerator will be going. So um, that comes up to about my chest, the old refrigerator. Um, Refrigerators in America, you know, are a lot taller, but this is a great refrigerator for the price. So I think they quoted 280 and we got it down to 265 So it has everything that we're going to want or need. So a lot better. So now I'll show you the washroom. So the washroom is up here, and I unlocked it. So we don't have a backyard, we don't have a front yard, but here's my washer. I bought this, it's on a little like table, and footers to keep it up in case of rain coming in. But this is a great little washing machine, so someone's already got washing, anticipating that someone will do it for them. And we do. We just, you know, we keep the wash in and do it. But Samsung is not just for phones, it's for washers. So our spray, bug spray. But that goes to the neighbor. And the owner's side is over there. But tenants are over on that side. And any excess water goes in the drain. So yeah, this is my house. So I'll we'll see you tops. So I'm back. I'm on my deck, balcony, my cup of tea. This is my table and chair that I bought. You see my bedroom windows and door. But where that little umbrella is, I go there. We buy ice. Um, I buy iced tea and phone cards. So it's handy. And after our initial little, um, I was buying something. What was I buying? I was buying two Hoshis, um, the green tea, and they charged me a little bit too much. So um, once we get that sorted out, now they, they know that, you know, I know the prices so they don't charge me an arm and a leg. So I'm back on my balcony and I will be bringing you along today and showing you whatever I do. Um, I've got uh, maybe gown fittings to do and um, I go to the market and I'm gonna go um, hopefully set up an appointment meeting with a um, business here in regards to silk. So um, more info on that as I move along with that. 
but um, yeah just trying to find a source here because Cambodian silk is beautiful um, I love silk I don't know what woman doesn't love silk and um, Cambodia is trying to get their market back up after years of war and um, they used to supply their own demand but now they have to um, buy from outside the country so that they can weave but it's beautiful I mean the different types of silk here are beautiful so I will keep you posted on that and I will show you examples but for now I'm gonna have my tea so talk to you soon